I think that where we see very clearly the perception that there is that there is a corruption, the U.S. knows well, in my view. I think one U.S. news media outlet actually went further than what the U.S. Um, release had said and, and, and went very specific on some of the things. But that made you understand that it is not something that is targeted against Mr. Saldivar alone here. That is a part of a bigger effort of the U.S. In fact, you saw other people who were involved with Lev Derman um, being ostracized in, in different ways. And so it is that anybody who was connected to that case, the U.S. feels they have to be dealt with. And so it just so happens that Mr. Saldivar is here and is a, is a foreign politician, and that is the way that they can can ostracize him or, or punish him for what they believe was his his role in in the whole scamming of the taxes for the U.S. government. These are maybe probables, but it does appear that Saldivar still has significant support uh, if he was able to get signatures to call an emergency to NPC. If, in fact, no, he gets the support from them to overturn the special order, committee's decision, what would you think of the UDP? Well, what everybody would think. I think it is very clear that people have the perception that Mr. Saldiva is severely corrupted, severely corrupt. Um, and if he's able to get the vote to go his way on Saturday, whenever the meeting is, um, it will say about the UDP that even though you tried with the, with the uh, special nomination, special um, committee, um, that you're weak and that maybe you're you're not serious about eradicating corruption or you're not serious about ever winning the next election. And that is ultimately what matters here, you know. Yes, the party could do what it wants. The party could, um, in, in, a, in a virtual NPC, select Mr. Saldiva to go back. The party could select a lot of these failed candidates who have the same um, perception nationally or, they, or, or even if they feel maybe it's not corruption but that they're genuinely weak as candidates. Uh, the party could force those pe persons on the electorate all we want, you know. Ultimately, we're not going to win, so we have to decide what is it we want. Do we want to put forward our best foot and have people believe that we're serious, or do we want to be a joke and a laughing stock for, for the people out there?